What is he doing here? We found your daughter. She's alive. Be prepared for changes. We have a child therapist that she'll be working with. Four years is a long time. What she needs right now is our family. Esther? Sweetheart, it's mommy. Welcome home, Esther. We left it just as it was. It's lovely to be back. I miss my family very much. Our goal here is helping Esther acclimate back into life within the family unit. Sorry. I think something's going on with Esther. Is there anything you want to tell me about your time away? How's that possible? Four years ago, she was still drawing stick figures. Esther's behavior has been so erratic. Hello, Mommy. Thank you, Mommy. I know, Mommy. I did notice some inconsistencies. <clears throat> what are you getting at? To me, it felt like a performance. If you're not Esther, who are you? protects her family. No matter what. That's the story of... That's the glory of love. The movie we're going to talk about today is called Orphan First Kill. Here's the storyline. After orchestrating a brilliant escape from an Estonian psychiatric facility, Esther travels to America by impersonating a missing daughter of a wealthy family. <laughs> Yikes. Directed by William Brent Bell. Written by David Cogshaw, the screenplay. David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick as the story. And Alex Mace for the story. Here's the cast. Isabel Furman as Esther slash Lena. Julia Stiles as Tricia Albright. Rossoff Sutherland as Alan Albright, Hiro Kanigawa as Detective Donnan, Matthew Finlan as Gunner Albright, and the cast goes on. Oh boy. I remember when the uh, first Orphan came out in 2009. It was fucking brilliant. Something new, something fresh, something creepy about a creepy kid who turns out not to be a kid terrorizes his family and is in love with the husband. Same old, same old. This one. Isabel Furman is a fantastic actress. I can tell you that right now. Here's another story to where she escapes from this psychiatric facility and poses as this wealthy family's daughter. But the catch of this movie is the daughter, the original daughter, was not missing. She was killed by the brother. And, of course, the mother knew about it. You find this out later on in the movie. So these both knew that she was not her sister, their sister slash daughter. The father had no idea. So they had the upper hand. Esther didn't realize that what the true story is so now you have this mother and son basically keeping Esther in check but that only happens for so long and then all hell breaks loose one thing I will say great acting all the way around but the ending of this film disappointed me it was an opportunity to end this series They didn't. So what's going to be next? Orphan. Second kill? I don't know. 
I thought it was best just to let this series go away by the wayside, but guess what? There's a third coming. If they do, then I'm hoping that there's a better ending. That being said, all hell breaks loose. The psychiatrist knew something was shady about this. The detective Donnan knew something was shady about this. But too late. There's kills. Interesting kills. It just... It's an alright film. It was not what I expected it to be, but it is what it is. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 6.5 out of 10. It is what it is. This is Gruesome Herzog. And... I'm out of here.